Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Now we're thinking back to school now or this makes a great teacher gift or a child gift or anyone who has works at a preschool department or schools. It's just a really neat cozy. And this cozy can be made in two sizes. Now this is the small size. It measures about nine inches long and it's about eight inches around. And it will work for your 16 to 20 ounce bottles. I also designed the pattern so that we could make it just a little bit bigger. And it will measure about 11 inches around and about 10 inches tall. And so it's a little bit bigger if you have, say, a 24 ounce bottle, it will work. Or if you want to just use it as a pouch to keep your phone or your wallet, house keys, or just something like that. Maybe just keep a snack for after school. <laughs> so we're going to make this today. This one is the small size, and I'm going to show you how to make it using the medium size pattern. And then, of course, I'll give you the difference in the stitches and measurements and things. You can also find all that information on the blog. And as always, I'll put that link down in the notes underneath this video. Depending on what you're going to use your koozie or cozy for will depend on what yarn you choose. This one is made all with cotton yarns. These are all cotton premier yarns that I had on hand. Pink, beige, bright yellow, beige, and this charcoal black. Now this is supposed to look like a pencil. And so that's what we're going for on this pattern. These cottons are all medium weight, number four cottons. Now, for today's demonstration, because I'm going to make it as a bag, it's not. I'm not worried about water getting on it or anything like that. I'm going to use acrylic yarns that I have on hand. And these are all Super Saver from Red Heart acrylic yarns that I just had in my yarn stash. I'm going to be using this yellow for the yellow portion, this pink for the pink portion, I'm going to use this light gray where I have this beige and then I have a little bit of beige I'm going to use for up here and then I'll finish off with this charcoal black up on the top. Okay, now you can use any yarns that you have on hand. You don't even have to use these colors, but they do need to be medium weight number four yarns. Okay. So cottons, acrylics, or whatever you have on hand, as long as it's medium weight, number four yarns. And you can see it's just a small amount of most of your yarns, not even half an ounce of each color. We're going to be stitching today with our eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You need your scissors, and of course you're gonna need a needle because we're gonna have a few ends to weave in since we're changing colors a lot. We'll be starting down here at the bottom and working our way up. So we're going to begin with our pink yarn for the eraser portion of our pencil. We're going to begin with our chain five. There's our slip knot. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to join this chain five into a circle Then we'll make that stay knot. And if you would prefer to do the magic circle here, you certainly can. We're going to go in, pull up a loop, and chain three. Now this chain three will count as our first double crochet. If you are going to make the small size, you're going to need to stitch 11 more double crochets. If you're going to make the medium size, you're going to need to stitch 13 more double crochets. All right, so I'm going to make the medium size, so I have one. So I'm going to go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two. So for the small size, you need a total of 12 double crochets in your chain five loop. For the medium size, you need a total of 14 double crochets 
in your chain 5 loop. And remember to count your first chain 3 as your first double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. If I was making the small size, I would stop at twelve double crochets. But since I'm making the medium size, I need to stitch two more so I have fourteen double crochets. All right, twelve for the small, fourteen for the medium size. Join to the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to turn this over, gently pull on that string, and I'm going to go ahead and close up this hole. Now you can do it at the end if you want to. I like to get it over with. I'm going to go ahead and weave this in, and then I don't have to worry about this end or the hole in the bottom of my bag. All right, that's nice and snug. We'll clip that off. All right, so just to repeat, for the small size, you'll have 12 double crochets. For the medium size, you'll have 14 double crochets. Join to the chain three and chain three. For row two, for both sizes, we're going to stitch two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. So our first double crochet will be in the same stitch as our chain three. And then we'll stitch two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. And again, this is the same for both sizes. Two double crochets in each of the double crochets working all the way around and then we'll join back to our chain three. Two double crochets in each of our double crochets around. If you're making the small size you'll have 24 double crochets. If you're making the medium size you'll have 28 double crochets. We're going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and this time we're just going to chain one. And what we're going to do now is stitch one single crochet in each of the double crochets around. Go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. One single crochet in each of the double crochets all the way around. And this is the same for both the small and the medium size. One single crochet in each of the double crochets around. And since we didn't add any stitches, you're going to have 24 single crochets for the small size and 28 for the medium size. We're going to join to our first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain three. Our chain three counts as one double crochet and now we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of those single crochets around. So we're back to doing double crochets. One double crochet in each of the single crochets working all the way around. you'll notice that your bag is going to start curling up and forming the shape of the bag. I stitched one double crochet in each of those single crochets around, join to the chain three and chain three, and now we're just going to repeat what we did for the fourth row. We're going to chain three, then one double crochet in each of the double crochets all the way around.
I completed another row of double crochet all the way around. I joined to my chain three, but I didn't chain three because we're going to change colors. So I'm going to cut my pink yarn and bring in this gray. I'm using this gray on this one. I used beige on the smaller one. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. And then again, we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of those double crochets working all the way around. And again, this is the same for the small and the medium size. One double crochet in our color two in each stitch working all the way around and then we'll join back to our chain three. I stitched a double crochet in each of the double crochets around. I'm going to join to the chain three and again if it's the small size you have 24. If it's the medium size you have 28. All right we're going to chain three one two three again that counts as our first double crochet. So on this row, which is row seven, we're going to be alternating front post double crochets and regular double crochets. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet, and now we're going to front post double crochet the next stitch. So go over like we do regularly with our double crochet, go around the post of our stitch. We usually stitch up here, but we're going to go around the post and stitch our double crochet. We're still stitching a double crochet. We're just putting it in a different place. So we're going to double crochet in the next stitch, front post, double crochet in the next, front post, whoops, double crochet, not front post, <laughs> in the next, and then front post, double crochet in the next. And so we're alternating a double crochet and a front post double crochet all the way around. And again, this is work the same for the small and the medium. You'll just have a few more stitches in the medium. Double crochet, front post double crochet in the next, working all the way around this row. I completed this row stitching double crochet front post, double crochet front post, alternating all the way around. Here's my last front post. I'm going to join to my chain three with a slip stitch and then I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm done with the gray and I'm going to bring in my pencil color which I'm doing my pencil in yellow. So we'll bring that in, snug it down, and again chain three. One, two, three. Again, this counts as our first double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. And then we'll continue to stitch a row of double crochet in the yellow working all the way around this row. one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. Now, we worked that row here with the double crochet front post, and if you struggle a little with knowing where to put your stitches, if you look at the top, you can see where it looks like there's a braid across, and you'll put one stitch in each of those sets of stitches or a braid looking stitch and that'll help you stay on track because you want to make sure you still have either 24 for the small or 28 for the medium size. I completed row 8 which is just one double crochet in each of your stitches around and again you're going to have 24 for the small size and 28 double crochets for the medium size. We're going to chain 3, 1, 2, three. 
Now what we're going to do is form those lines that make it look like a pencil. And we'll do that with more front post double crochets. So our first chain three counts as a double crochet. Then we're going to double crochet in the next two. One and two. So that makes three together. One, two, three. Now we're going to front post in the next double crochet. And so our repeat will be one double crochet in the next three. So there's one, two, three, and then front post in the next double crochet. One double crochet in the next three. One, two, three, and front post double crochet in the next. And we'll repeat this working all the way around for both sizes. Three double crochets, then a front post double crochet in the next. I repeated that all the way around, three double crochets, front post in the next, all the way around. Here's my last front post. I'm going to join to my chain three and chain three. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat row nine four more times for the small size and six more times for the medium size. All right, so repeat row nine four more times for the small size and six more times for the medium size. And if you want it even longer, you can do the, this row, repeat row nine, as many rows as you want to if you want to make your bag even longer. I'm going to repeat it six more times because I'm making the medium size bag. I completed those repeats. And if you're making the small size, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of your yellow portion. If you're making the medium size, you're going to have two more rows, which makes it eight rows. If you're making a bag and you want this to be even longer, you can continue to repeat these rows for as long as you want to. But for the pattern's sake, six rows of the yellow, for the small and eight rows of the yellow or pencil portion for the medium. I joined to my chain three and I went ahead and cut my yarn. I'm going to bring in the beige, which is the representation of the wood portion of our pencil. There we go. And we're going to chain one and snug everything down. And what we're going to do now is we're going to stitch one single crochet in each of the stitches around. And this is the same for the small and the medium. One single crochet in each of those stitches working all the way around our bag. I stitched a single crochet in each of those stitches around I'm going to join to my first single crochet and chain one. And now we're going to stitch another row of one single crochet in each of the stitches around. All the way around and again, join back to our first single crochet. I stitched that second row with my beige color, single crochet all the way around, join back to the first single crochet, and now I'm going to cut the beige color off and bring in this charcoal color. I didn't want to use black because um, it's really difficult to film because it's so dark, and so I'm using this charcoal, hoping it will work just a little bit better and still look like the lead of the pencil, all right? So I brought it in, I'm going to chain one, and then we're just gonna repeat what we did on the last row. One single crochet in each of the single crochets around. And actually, I really do like the way the charcoal is looking on this pattern. 
one single crochet in each of the single crochets around in my charcoal color join to the first single crochet chain one and repeat one single crochet in each of those stitches all the way around I stitched that second row of my dark charcoal gray and I do really like it I think it represents what a lead in a pencil would look like really well and now what we're going to do is make the handle all right so we join to our first single crochet and we're going to chain 35 chains I chained 35 chains now this makes a nice handle but if you want the handle on your bag or bottle cozy to be longer you can of course chain more chains now if you're making the small size you need to count over 12 stitches if you're making the medium size you need to count over 14 stitches and I went ahead and counted and just stuck my stitch marker there all right so I'm just going to take that out we're going to hook into that stitch and stitch a single crochet and then we're going to go to the next stitch and stitch a single crochet now we're going to turn our bag and we're going to single crochet back up the chain to the other side of our bag and we counted over those 12 and 14 stitches because we want the handle to be as evenly placed as possible and so I'm just going to stitch a single crochet in each of those chains working back across that chain I have single crocheted back down my chain for a nice sturdy handle I'm going to join to the single crochet next to where I started and then I'm going to slip stitch in the next and cut my yarn that way I can weave that to the back and have it look nice and neat now I just need to take a few minutes and weave in all these ends since we changed colors a few times and then I'll show you how to make the drawstring for the bag that helps your bottle or whatever you're gonna put in it stay put so the handles all done it looks really nice the bag looks really nice but I like to add a drawstring that way it pulls it in makes it look a little more like a pencil but also keeps your good stuff inside alright so all you're gonna do is just grab your charcoal or black color that you're using and chain 40 chains I chained the same amount for the small bag as I did for the medium bag I didn't add more chains for the medium bag if you want your drawstring to be bigger or longer you can of course chain more chains all right so I'm gonna cut my yarn Oops, tie that off snug that down and I like to tie that extra knot right in the bottom of each end just to make sure it's not going to come undone and we'll do this other end and now what we're going to do is we want to center it on the front and I want that drawstring to be in between the row of the beige and the row of the charcoal all right so I'm just going to take my hook and go in and out every couple of stitches and just gently pull that through and I like to do you know two and two like that I think it works good so two 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 all right so we'll just keep working that through gently easing it through until we get back around to the front so I'm back around to the front you can see we can pull this in it's gonna look more like a pencil 
and we can tie this in just a knot like that or we can add a bow and again if you want your tie to be longer you can certainly make it longer I just when it comes to kids I like to keep ties short it's just the way I like to do things and then of course you can put all your goodies inside and so here are both bags we have the small made in cotton medium weight number four and the medium made in acrylic yarns they're similar they look similar this one's taller and a little bit wider and the 16 to 20 ounce bottle will fit in this one let me show you It's a little sticky because I took the label off. I didn't want you to know what this was, but you probably do know. <laughs> All right, so there is, this is a 20 ounce bottle, by the way. So 16 to 20 ounce will fit in this one. And then of course, bigger bottles or whatever goodies you wanna put inside this bag. Pencils, you could even stuff this and make it look like a stuffy. Don't put the handle on and it looks like a pencil you can make it into a stuffy. So lots of options for this particular pattern. It's a fun back to school pattern for your bottles and your goodies and makes a great gift for teachers. Mm -hmm.